Hello, this is Not A Spring Chicken. Of course, the big news today is despite worldwide markets going down and down and down on two record days of 500 plus, yes, drops in the stock market, the U.S. defies all odds, starts printing money, and of course, the stock market goes up. Right now, we're in, oh, uh, almost 200 points for, uh, for the day trading territory. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama sees the market with his standard fare and balance, higher taxes, and more government speech. Uh, more government spending. <laughs> oh, government. <laughs> okay, that's, that's how you know it's live, folks. But no, and the, and this morning, the, 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 it is up on the fact that he has promised to spend money we don't have on programs that we can't afford and to print money to do it because as the as they said this morning as long as we print money people will keep accepting it uh, I tell you, you know what they're doing in Italy today what the printing presses are rolling printing more money they're paying twenty dollar Italian notes to buy uh, buy uh, loaves of bread today in Italy oh really yeah that's a disaster and that's what that's what you're looking for this morning but I mean the problem is is you know Matt Bull will tell you this is Matt Bull Obama folks so that that um, that the it, the market is not a good place to put your money in right now because the market is going that way and it's going to go that way a lot more before it goes that way you want to put your money in when it's here not while it's going there because if they put it this way if you bought General Motors at 33 and General Motors is now at 19 Mm -hmm. and it keeps going lower, you're really losing your shirt. You want to buy General Motors when it's like 10. Mm -hmm. Or maybe one. You want to buy, okay, Bank of America, which basically had no chance of going under, it basically lost another 20% of its work today. Wait a minute, didn't lose 15% yesterday? It lost 20% more today. Ouch. But they said that uh, there are so many assets, uh, Bank of America's assets are so great that uh, they'll continue to exist no matter what. So you wait till Bank of America hits one dollar, buy Bank of America at a dollar, and wait, and it's going to be propped up again because Obama runs the Bank of America, folks. Mm -hmm. And gunmen and victims identified in Ohio shooting rampage. I know. We'll, we'll come back to, man, to BS the bull. The President of the United States has said this is reasons why we've got to tighten up the gun control laws. I mean, every time Obama needs a massacre, we get in a massacre. He needs How something. To, he has to take people's minds off of something so something else happens so he can come out today. We need tougher gun control laws. Well, no. They're, they, it's, I, I, I'm going to try it. Okay. My father was a police officer forever. My father said the problem isn't that there aren't enough laws, there's not enough enforcement. <laughs> if you enforce the law, you don't need another law. But they'll pass a law, well this law didn't work, so let's pass a tighter enforcement that we won't enforce. Yeah, that did a whole lot of good. Yeah. Talking about enforcement, rioting goes crazy in the streets of London. Because the country is broke. The country, uh, the country is broke. Social services are basically busted the country. The days of socialized medicine is over in England. And the people that basically were getting everything for free, including drugs, are pissed off because they're going to have to start doing co-pays and things now. Oh no, they have to do co-pays? Yeah, all those, okay, uh, the, me the, me the medical plan that Obama is setting us towards is failed in every country in the world. Every country. But just because it failed everywhere else doesn't mean that he can't make it work because, you know, Actually, I'll, I'll cover. When we say things discouraging, we always cover one of the family members. So, um, Obama, because he is America's greatest president, can convince everybody that it's going to work. Ooh. And we need more regulations, not less. And this is what the SP meant. Uh, they, they said they were very specific again this morning. At no time did we say we need higher taxes, that you need more government spending. We said you have to stop spending. What is so hard? Well, actually, they intend to jail the people at S and P. The, the, the Chicago politics are now at work. He has a he has a criminal investigation being started against S and P because of the unwillful and, and premeditated destruction of the American economy. That they must be criminally investigated. Which, if they do it, they said it finishes the Democratic Party. 
period, because you think that they're going to get anybody in the business world to give a penny, even from their own party, to the Democrats? Well, they still are. No, they, they aren't, though. That's the problem. They are, they're raising money, but the local politicians are not raising money. Oh. The opposition is raising money, but not them, because the people, they, okay, uh, let's see. I, I didn't give you a million dollars to force me out of business. Yeah, that's how it's going mm -hmm. on, folks. An American estate tax crusader sees a good fight ahead. Well, yeah, you know, because the Democrats are... The, the, all the Democrats are doing is talking about raising taxes and spending more money. Well, we can't cut entitlements. Well, since the money is all in entitlements, they're not going to do any cutting, but they're going to spend the money. The entitlements can't be paid for. The entitlements are running... I think the entitlements are running... Uh, one dollar in debt for every one dollar spent at the moment, or a little bit more. So therefore, uh, if you raise taxes, it's just basically going to have, going to keep entitlements going. It's not going to cut the budget any. And failure of Bush leadership is the reason behind the credit rating failure. Well, I know. Also, there's also that this is you know the dem basically this started out as a joke, folks. Because Obama blames Bush for everything. So they said in the Kennedy tapes, it was discovered that Jacqueline Onassis Kennedy said that she understood that George Bush Jr. was in Dallas the morning that her husband was killed. And there is a good reason to think that he killed the President of the United States. Yeah. Well, but, but that the problem is, is that that's, the people on the left, it's like a domino. If one person says it, another person says it. And uh, even the comics know it was a joke. Like he was 11 years old then. Ooh. Like the Kennedys knew who he was then. The, they had no idea who a George Bush was I in those know. days. But we understand that he was in Dallas at the time. And he had good motive to kill the president. <laughs> I mean, it, the guy couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with a shotgun, <laughs> folks. But, uh, and, you know, and if anything, at, 12, at 11, 12, he's probably drunk anyway. So, no, but now it's what happens is they said the Democrats become herd bound. You give them a talking point, and they'll stick to that talking point, even if it's a joke. I mean, I heard John Stewart last night. It's a joke, you. And then he basically, he said, I can't say it because they told me I've said that word too many times. <laughs> no, but when he, I mean, he admitted it was a joke. He said, they're blaming everything. One of the comics said, they're blaming everything on George Bush. And I'll bet you somewhere in the Kennedy tapes, they'll find the reason that he was, he killed George, he killed the president. So, oh my gosh. And they took it and ran with it. White House expiring of Bush tax cuts to spur reform. Well, well, we're going to get, we're going to be able to put two trillion dollars back in the economy. Uh, no, it never would have made. Okay, that we're going to take a thing. If the money was never in, the, the money was never been taxed by the government. It was not taxed. It was government. Basically, they decided not to raise taxes. By not raising taxes, they call it the Bush tax cut. Mm -hmm. They didn't raise taxes. But now Obama wants to. To kill the Bush tax cut immediately, which will immediately raise taxes on all those millionaires and billionaires, which we've now told people, basically, if you, if you live in California and you work at a McDonald's and you live in a house, you're now a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, Mexico says net migration has slowed to a trickle. I know, basically, okay, we got BS the bull and, and we got Mad Bull and BS the bull. Hey, hey, Matt, is the migration in the United States slowed down? <laughs> Only in the present of the United States dreams. Mm -hmm. And states will get school testing waivers. Oh, yeah, Obama has decided, okay, okay, this is good enough. If this is, if this is good enough for the head of the Democratic Party, I can count to five. One, two, three, four, uh oh four, five. Because that, okay, Obama feels that students are so stupid that they don't need to be, they don't need to learn anything anymore because I want to turn out Democrats. Mm -hmm. No, he said the teachers union is pissed off about having to actually do their job. You know, no child left behind means they had to do their job to get government money. 
Oh, they, I think they forgot about that. Uh -huh. And there, there, with this, the five states were caught, five bunch of people, states were caught cheating. So now they file criminal action against the people that reported them cheating. Mm. It's called shoot the messenger, folks, which the Democrats seem to be very good at the moment. And did Newsweek choose Michelle Bachman cover photo to make her look crazy? Yeah, they deliver. Okay, they know the photograph was doctored. Basically, this time they went so far the National Organization of Women said that, that, it's, that it's, was wrong. It was wrong. It was obviously a doctored picture. Well, and part of it, they are a news organization, no matter what they think. I know, they're, but they're a partisan news organization, very partisan. And, when, okay, put it this way. When the National Organization of Women says that the left went too far, they simply went too far because they're basically, they're after Palin, they're after any Republican woman. They're like the, uh, you know, like, the, the, what I heard him last night saying, he said, you know, why they're after Republican women? Because they're successful and they're young and they're attractive. Mm -hmm. Unlike... The unsuccessful bitches that the Democrats have running for office. <laughs> and a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, that if you learn nothing from the things that you do wrong and continue to do them over and over again, it's obvious you're a politician.